Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. It is January 3rd today. I don't know when you'll be seeing this video, but I have my holiday haul. Um, I posted about this on my Instagram stories to take like a survey to see how people felt about this because I know everyone loves normal hauls, but a haul, like what you got for Christmas haul, I didn't know if that would seem like braggy or annoying. Definitely not what I'm going for. I just personally love to see what people received for literally anything, what they bought, what they got, anything. I just like to see that stuff. So I thought I would do a holiday haul. Um, I have all my Christmas presents over here to the side and I'm gonna show you guys what I got. And I thought it'd be cool to do this because I always ask for a lot of small brand stuff because I don't know, I support a lot of those type of businesses and I thought it'd be cool to show you guys some of the things. And I really like what I got this year. I feel like I got almost everything on my list. And um, some stuff hasn't came in the mail, so when I talk about that, I'll just have to put like a picture on the screen or something. But I'm gonna jump right in, because I have a lot of stuff. One of my first and favorite, favorite, favorite gifts is this cookbook. Fun fact about me, my other passion is cooking. I love cooking, I used to wanna be a chef. It is still a possibility in my future, you know what I mean? Anyways, I love to cook for fun and for people and for myself all the time. And I love Chrissy Teigen. I always watch her Instagram stories and she's always cooking. So I, she has like a whole line of stuff at Target and I saw she had a cookbook and I was like, yeah, I need that. So I got this from my dad and stepmom. They got it for me. Um, I've already made four recipes out of here and they've all came out delicious. Um, I absolutely love it. She has like random pictures of herself in here too. Her and John, it's so cute. I'll show you what it looks like up close. It's really good quality. Um, the recipes have came out really good. There's a lot of recipes in here of things that I would eat. So yeah, one of my favorite gifts and probably my most used gifts so far is this. So if you know anyone that likes to cook in your life that you ever need a gift idea, get them this. You won't regret it. Um, next up, I will show you guys shoes because I got some shoes. From my boyfriend's grandma, one of his grandmas. Somehow through family texting, she knew that I wanted a pair of all black vans. Um, I wanted these for school because I have to wear all black. Can't have white soles, yes, very unfortunate. Um, so yeah, I wanted a pair of these. They slip on, they're easy, they're comfortable, they go with everything. Thank you, Nemo. It's from my boyfriend. These were a complete surprise. I didn't ask for them, but like he knows that I want to have you know nice sneakers and he likes to pick them out for me. So he got me these. I have worn them a few times, so they're not. I got this smudge right here. I'm very upset about it. So if you know how to get it off, please tell me. These, whatever these are called, uh, women's Air Max Plus. So yeah. Got these, they're really comfortable. I actually love them, they're all white. I love all white shoes. My only complaint is they're a little bit narrow, but like as I wear them, they get better. I just have wide feet and Nikes tend to have that issue. So yep, I got these. Let's just do some random stuff. <laughs> my youngest sister, this is actually a funny one because uh, my boyfriend's apartment, he's very tall. He's 6'4", I'm like five foot, so we have a pretty big height difference. And as you know, if you're a short person, it's hard to reach stuff. And at his apartment, anytime I'm cooking, putting away dishes, putting away laundry in the closet, everything is so high up. Like, I don't know who can reach that if you're not six foot tall. So my little sister, she's right there. She got me a stool. I asked for this months ago. I was like, I need a stool for Christmas. She's like, I'll get you that. And I forgot. But yeah, she got me a stool. And like one of my favorite colors lately is like green, any kind of green. So she got me this, another super useful gift that I will 100% you know, get my use out of. And I thought this was like a thoughtful gift. You know, when someone pays attention to things that you say, I don't know. I thought it was funny and I'm definitely gonna use it. Let's see. This is from my boyfriend's other grandma. It's one of those like travel um, cases that goes like on the back of a door. It has like all these little travel bottles in it, which is good for like going on planes and stuff. So I thought this was super cool. I got this little bad boy from my grandma. She got me this little um, like workout, not that I work out, <laughs> this little um, set. The leggings are dirty because I wore them on Christmas day with a hoodie, I put them on. But um, it's this black and it has like this texture on it. I don't know if you can see. Um, this is the crop top and it came with matching exact pattern leggings. So uh, this was from my grandma. I absolutely love this little set. Thought it was super cute. I opened these, but my boyfriend got me a pack of scrunchies. They're all like velvet like this. There was this one, um, like a maroon colored one. And I think a yellow one, I don't know. I got this really awesome coloring book from my dad and my stepmom. It's like those adult type of coloring books. It's really good quality, like the pages feel really nice. And the drawings are like really detailed, but also like realistically detailed to the point where I can actually finish them. I've had some coloring books that are like insane. You can fill it in. Like there's one, I don't know where it is. 
but like it gives you a little more creativity instead of just coloring in the lines. So I'm super excited about this. I got this Kylie Skin gift set from my mom. It's minis, not too many, they're pretty decent size. It comes with the cleanser, the face scrub, which I already have, the toner, never tried the toner, moisturizer, you guys know how I feel about that, love it, and the hydrating face mask. I'm super excited about the hydrating face mask because surprisingly, my skin has been a little bit dry. Crazy, right? Yeah, I know. I'm excited that I get to have some like, you know, minis of my favorites and then I get to try some of our other stuff that I haven't tried. I like this giant bag, so let's just put it on my lap. Ooh, I got this, um, I asked for PJs because most of my PJs are just retired clothes that I can't wear out in public anymore, like old t-shirts, shorts that are too short, you know, like those like cheer shorts. Not that I've ever cheered, but you know what I'm talking about? Those, so anyways, I wanted cuter pajamas that were embarrassing to wear. So I got this little set. It says, um, from my dad and stepmom, it says, Namaste stay at home, get it? I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's just like a gray v-neck shirt. Not too thick, not too heavy, because I do sweat in my sleep. Um, super cute and comfy, but the best part is these pants. They're gray with cheetah on them, and I don't know if you can tell, but it's just that super soft, stretchy, thin PJ pant material. The ankles, you know, they slim down, kind of like joggers. They have a tie band right here. This stuff is from Ross, if you want to go see, based on the tag, if you want to go see if you can find them. Um, super cute, super excited to wear them. Haven't worn them yet because I need to wash them and I wanted to show them in this video. Um, this was a surprise gift, not something I specifically asked for, but still super cute and exciting. And I got a little hot cocoa set from my dad and my stepmom and it comes with four hot chocolate cocoa mix packets, four peppermint stirs and mini marshmallows. So that's really cool. I'm excited to try this out since we've had a little bit of cold weather in Florida. The past couple days have been hot though. So I don't know if we're like that was it, winter's over already, but we shall see. Either way, I like hot chocolate. Some more PJs from my boyfriend's grandma that got me the travel thing. She also got me these tie-dye pajama pants with the little string right here. This peach colored um, sweatshirt. Little t-shirt that says all is good. That's from her. These are some of my stocking stuffers from my boyfriend. I already ate, he got me a bag of, they were like a bunch of little pretzel balls covered in chocolate. Those are gone, destroyed. Here's what I have left of stocking stuffer candy. Uh, milk chocolate bar with mini M&Ms, the best M&Ms, and then just a regular Hershey bar right here. Have some more PJs, I think this is PJs, pretty sure. And I don't know if it goes this way, like this is the front, or if this is the front. But it's that same really soft material as those pants and it has little lightning bolts all over it. It's super cute. Um, it's like cropped. I think it's cute. I mean, I guess that could be both. Oh, I asked for socks from, I asked for socks from everybody. So I'm just gonna show you all the socks that I got. These ones, I don't like to be barefoot. I have to have like slippers. Oh, I also got a really nice pair of like cream colored Jessica Simpson slippers. I'll try and put them on the screen. I'm at my boyfriend's house because I left him there, but I got those from my dad and my stepmom. These socks are from them. Socks are from them. Got some no-show socks from them. Perfect for my vans. I got some cotton undies from Pink. I love these cotton underwear. Let's back up here. Oh, more socks. These are, they're busted because I opened them on Christmas Day and shoved them back in. Oh, here's a picture. These are like, what do you call these? I don't know, they're not ankle socks, the ones that go higher. These are DKNY socks, two pairs, super nice and comfy. They'd be good for boots or for me, I'm just gonna wear them around the house because like I said, I don't like to be barefoot. And they have, they're such cute packaging. This little thing is super cool. This is for my little sister who got me a stool, Christina. It's this little, um, I don't know if you can see the picture right here, um, brush holder, like after you wash your brushes so that they can dry. Got this little guy, cause she knows I always just like lay them out on a towel. <laughs> got these little cl hair clips. I don't know which sister these are from. I have three sisters. These are from one of my two little sisters, these little pearl clips. I got one of these little um, razors for my dad and stepmom in my stocking, you know, for your eyebrows or face hair of any kind. I got another pack of scrunchies. 
These are from my dad and my stepmom, I'm pretty sure. I asked for neutral colors because I have a bunch of like super colorful scrunchies already like in a vase in my room and they're just a lot harder to match, especially like this time of year, like in the summer when I'm tan, I like them better. But for now I wanted more neutral ones, especially for like my school outfits. And these ones are like velvet and they're nice and big and stretchy. I don't like the ones that are too tight. They give me a headache. So super excited about these. Here's another pack. I think these are from, I can't, I can't remember. Either my dad and my stepmom or one of my sisters. I feel like everybody I know got me scrunchies. So another pack of neutral ones. These ones have like a variety of finishes. This one's like velvet, velvet. This one's more like, I don't even know. I've never had a scrunchie that felt like this. But yeah, love these little ones. Uh, I know what this is from. This is from my sister, Raina. She is my little sister, but not the youngest one. It is a white magnolia candle, a soy candle. They say those are better. I don't know enough about that, but it smells really, really good. Very clean, fresh smell. Oh, shit, it's falling everywhere. So also my family. My family is a bit of um, procrastinators. So I have a couple IOUs, which are printouts of the shipping until they get here. Got one of my favorite, I asked for this as well, one of my favorite um, beauty sponges, the Elf Camo Concealer. Absolutely amazing, $5, you need it. This is a card from my uncle Kevin. He gave me a Christmas card with some money in it. I'm not gonna show it, but I'll show you the card. Super cute. I got more socks. These could be from my boyfriend or my dad and stepmom, don't remember. I just know they all got me socks. <laughs> um, black, white, and gray, super useful. Ooh, I was excited about these. Um, I asked for these as well, because they're supposed to be better for your skin and your hair. Satin pillowcases. Um, they're a cream color. I got two of them from my sister, Raina. Excited about these, haven't tried them yet. Again, because I want to show you guys first. My little sister, Raina, also got me these super cute butterfly clips. I was so, like, this is one of the, my favorite things that she got me because they're just so cute and detailed. They have like little purple jewels on them. And I like to, when I wear my hair wavy, I like to take little clips and like pin right here back. And I think it's gonna look so cute for that. And I assume she got me these scrunchies since they're in the bag right here. She got me two little packs. I really like these ones. A little fluffy one, little glittery one. Super, super cute. She also got me some hair clips as well. And she got me two KKW Beauty lip liners, which I did ask for some more lip liners because last Christmas, I'm pretty sure it was last Christmas, I got one of her lip liners and I'm obsessed with them. So I wanted more. She got me nude 0.5 and nude 3. This is 0.5, just like a nude, pretty neutral nude, maybe pink leaning. I mean, mauve leaning, I don't know. Anyways, I really like it. Oh, this one's dark, dark. I could have worn this one today. I don't have one this dark which is cool, like a super dark chocolatey brown. My mom got me a black outfit from the Store Express. These black leather leggings, pants, I'm not quite sure. Um, super cute, really like these. I'm always looking for ways to make my black outfits a little less boring. So I got these and then she got me this really nice material black um, top to go with it. It's shaped like a t-shirt, but the sleeves, I don't know if you can tell, have like a little bit of a, like the slightest ruffle to them, just to add a little bit of detail to it. These Texan mom style jeans from my uh, dad and my stepmom. I asked for these because your girl's growing and a lot of my jeans don't fit me anymore. So um, I got these ones, they're super cute. Oh, here's another pack of scrunchies, not sure who they're from, but there's these ones a little bit smaller. The tight, these ones are a little more tight, like I was saying, that I usually don't prefer, but the ones that are like super tight is when I do like half up, half down situations or when I do like a loose ponytail and I just wanna wrap it one time, that's when I get my use out of these kind. Super cute though, I love the design. Um, makeup wise, my mom got me a ton, you're about to see a ton of stuff for my makeup kit. Um, if you don't know already, I'm in cosmetology school, which does cover hair, skin, nails, and makeup but my original reason of getting licensed is because I do want to be a makeup artist. And in order to do that, you need a kit for your clients. And I have been building mine, but it's a process to build enough colors for everyone's shade range and skin type and occasion and yada yada. So I have a big box of several boxes of stuff for that. But first I'm gonna show you some gift cards I got. These are from my grandpa, my uncle Dougie, they're brothers. 
Um, and they always give us gift cards every year. So I got Starbucks, Wawa, and Visa. And then now into the makeup. Makeup, I got three. Precisely my brow pencils, because they know it's my favorite. I got them in three different colors, which is really cool. I got two Kylie um, blushes, which is super exciting. Kind of want to keep one for personal use, but I haven't decided yet, because I haven't tried her blushes, but I got the color Close to Perfect, which is the one that I'd probably keep. And then I got the color We're Going Shopping, which is a super cool, cute name. I also got a Kylie palette. I'm pretty sure this is her birthday palette. I'll show it to you real quick. I don't know if you guys remember this collection, but super cute. It's neutral with lots of, well not lots, but a couple pops of color, which I think will be really pretty. And I like how many colors it has a nice big mirror, really sturdy and sleek. Next up, I have two Morphe setting sprays. And I was just talking about one of my videos how they came out with a matte one. So I got the matte one and I got the regular one with like special holiday packaging, I'm guessing, because mine doesn't have those little, uh, what are those, flares? I don't know. I got some little cotton swabs that have like, you see the pointed end, which I feel like would be really cool for like right here and just clean up. And then the other end is regular. I got a Kiss False Lash applicator. I got two mascaras from Maybelline, the Maybelline Lash Stiletto and Lash Sensational, both two of my favorites. I don't know if I've talked about Lash Sensational on my channel because it's been a while since I used it, but there was a minute there where it was all I used. I got two e.l.f. concealer shades in the standard formula, the more matte formula. And then I got one um, shade of their hydrating one, which is my personal favorite. So I got three e.l.f. concealers. I got three, three foundation colors, which I know isn't a lot, but it's better than using my one or, most people will bring it for me, but anyways, I got three foundation colors right here to start, which is awesome. And I feel like this foundation is really good to use on everyone, as long as you set it properly, depending on their skin type. So super excited about that. Here is the next one. I thought she got me this hair thing that I already had, so I was like, what the heck? But she just used the box, and I was like, oh, clever. So in here, we've got some Duo Lash Glue, the type with the brush to swipe on right here. With that, we have some Ardell Wispies, beautiful universal lash with lots of pairs in the box. I appreciate that. Ooh, here is another Precisely my brow pencil in shade three and a half, nice neutral brown. I got the Kat Von D Locket setting powder. I've never tried this myself, but her stuff is usually good. Ooh, cool packaging. The translucent one, which is awesome. That's the e.l.f. Putty Primer Trio, which I thought this was especially cool because I've only ever tried the one that I've talked about, which is the standard putty primer for pores. This one has three little minis so I can try them out and decide if I wanna get full sizes of all three or buy this again, you know what I mean? So I thought that was super cool. Um, she got me these little bobby pins, she said to clip back my client's hair, which is actually really smart because that's kind of an issue when you do your makeup, you know, putting your hair back. The KKW lip liner as well in the shade Zero. This is the nudest one that I got. This one is basically like lighter than my lips, which can also be useful depending on like how nude you're trying to go. Super nude, which I'm excited to try that one. And I'm not gonna do these ones because if you know, these are a bitch to open these, um, like, I don't know, this type of packaging. Okay, so these two say matte lip liner right here. And they're in the shade, oh, whipped caviar. This is whipped caviar right here. I would say it's like a pinky brown. And then this one is the shade spicy, which I would say, cause it's like a burnt reddish color. And then this one, that's just like a regular lip liner. It doesn't say matte, it's called nude beige, which is definitely more brownie nude, super cute. I got a Buxom um, Wanderlust blush, which I actually have this exact one for my personal self. So I think they just knew that I liked it. And I think it'll be really pretty on clients. Very pretty, like pink blush. Four Kylie 
lipsticks in four different colors. Two nudes in two bolder colors. Right here, they are in um, three mattes, one cream. You can see right here on the names. Super excited to try those. And then, oh, and I got a Morphe sponge, also an amazing sponge. I just, I like to try new stuff, but um, I loved that one for a long time. Just a gift card. I got this um, Ulta gift card from my boyfriend's dad. Um, a hundred dollar Ulta gift card. Thank you so much, Kevin. I'm really excited to spend this. I'm trying to be patient and wait until like I need some stuff instead of buy unnecessary things, but I have that. He also got me a Disney pass which I'm super excited about that, like a year pass. So um, yeah, see so you at Disney if you got one too. Next up from my mother. Oh, I've missed one makeup pro uh, product. She got me the Kylie Lip Kit in Jordy, which correct me if I'm wrong, but this was the one that was made for her ex best friend Jordan. They're no longer friends, but I got this one. So maybe that makes it a rare commod commod commodity. Camaraderie? Mm, I don't know. But yep, this nice red matte lip kit. Is this a matte one? Oh, velvet. Velvet lip kit. This isn't the, I know this is the box of the Jaclyn Hill Morphe brushes, but she just wrapped it in this because she didn't know what to do with them. So I'll show you here. And then I'm gonna show you quickly the brushes one by one up on camera. So that is all of these stuff that I got for my kit. I'm so excited to do people's makeup with all that stuff. Last thing that I have for my mom, oh, actually, for personal use, she got me the Pat McGrath Divinity Palette. I'm so freaking excited for that. As a makeup lover, that is a brand that I probably wouldn't own if it wasn't for Christmas or something like that. So I'm really excited that she went out of her way to get it for me. Um, her normal Pat McGrath, normal 10, I want to say their 10 pan palettes are like $130, more expensive than Natasha Denona. Um, but she had like this, it's called the Divinity palette with several colors. I'm going to put a picture on the screen and the pans are just smaller for 75. So I put that on my list and she did get it for me, but I don't know what the heck is taking so long. It hasn't came in the mail yet. I check every day. I'm patiently waiting. So when that gets here, you will definitely see a video with it. And she also got me the Lights Lacquer Holiday Collection. I'm scared to tip this. <laughs> Hope we can see. We got like a nice satiny Santa red, a gold. I've used the green one. I painted my nails with this one on Christmas day. Absolutely loved it. It looked like gel. Everyone thought I got gel on my nails. Super dimensional and glittery, but not chunky. Um, lasted for like three days before I started chipping. This one is like an icy gray blue, haven't tried yet. Um, this one I'm super excited for. It's like a, I'm gonna show you, very holographic glittery shade. And her glittery shades, if you do like one, well, these type of glittery shades, you can do like one coat and wear them like really sheer, or you can do like multiple coats and you can get it like opaque and super sparkly. And then I had this one um, on my nails before I filmed this, but it was chipped so I had to take it off. This one is actually has a matte finish and you can choose to put the top coat on or not. I use her base coat and top coats. Um, before Lights Lacquer, she was KL Polish. I have almost every single one of those and almost every single one of these. So this is something that I collect and I love. I don't get my nails done, I'm allergic to acrylics. I recently found out, but even before that, I had never had acrylics on my nails. I've always painted my nails and this is my favorite, favorite, favorite nail polish brand. It's owned by Kathleen Lights. Go check out her channel, go try out her nail polishes. She has the most amazing colors, amazing finishes, and they last. So yeah, I wanted to, definitely wanted to show you guys that. And I saved my favorite category for last, which is jewelry, because I got a little bit of jewelry from everybody. I'll start with this necklace from my dad. This one is really cool and thoughtful because, I don't know, you'll see. But um, he got me this necklace with a sheer and comb on it. And I'm so excited to wear it to school because, you know, obviously, I'm self-explanatory. From my, um, boyfriend, 
like, I don't know what kind of blank I just drew. He got me a little necklace with his initial on it. His name is Dylan. Got this one. I've been wearing this one, so I don't have the box, but it was from Pagoda. Super cute. I think they have like all different chains and initials that you can, you know, mix up, match up. Um, if you were ever wanted to get that for somebody. Dylan also got me, Dylan, Dylan, he doesn't know how to budget for Christmas. He just goes all out. I also want to say he got me some really awesome um, face extraction tools that must be somewhere in my room. I don't have them with me. And like a set for like doing at home pedicures that I don't have. He got me, also got me that. And he got me this super nice gold and citrine bracelet with matching earrings. I'll show the earrings in one second. I don't know what you would call this type of bracelet, but it's like a bunch of little rectangles linked together. And then the matching earrings for that. So pretty, so, so, so pretty. And I love that they match so I can wear them, you know, for a special occasion. I love jewelry, I love jewelry so much. Cheap jewelry, expensive jewelry, I love it all. The only thing is about cheap earrings do hurt my ears, so I can only wear them for a couple hours. So I do prefer at least gold plated, but I love it all. So far, everything I showed you, pretty sure it's real. My boyfriend also got me <laughs> to go with the D necklace. He got me these little earrings that I did wear, so I just found this little baggie to put them in for now. Little gold huggy hoops with these little, um, you know, little diamond stones in them. My boyfriend's grandma, the one who got me the travel case and the PJs, got me some jewelry from this website. It's called Girls Crew. I put this on my list this year. I put several things from them on this list. I found them on Instagram, like on an ad. And I thought their stuff was so dainty and cute and it has like color to it, which I thought was really cool. So I put their little fruit set on there and I'll show you the ones that are like loose that I have worn already. Um, so basically it comes with five little mini hoops with different fruits on them that you can mix and match. So right here, I'm pretty sure isn't either an apple, I don't know, I can't tell. An apple and cherries, I wore these the other day. So freaking cute, gold plated with little fruits on them. And then in the box, okay, yeah, so I think the one I just showed you was a strawberry, not an apple, because these are definitely, this is an apple, peach, and grapes. So freaking cute. Absolutely love them. She got me those. And then my little sister, Raina, conveniently, like, got me the matching peach necklace that was on my list. So it worked out perfect. I got the little peach necklace from them as well, and I'm so excited to wear those together, especially, like, in the spring and the summer when I'm tan and I have little fruits dangling off me. <laughs> That'll be cool. Tucker, I'm almost done. Also from Girls Crew, I know. People will really pay attention to my list this year. I really, I'm so grateful because this stuff is just so cool to me. And I want to show you guys because like, I think you guys would really like this website. My stepmom and dad got me these little, um, they're like ha half, Huggy hoop situations, they're gold with little, the stones are like long and skinny. You can see, I don't know why I'm trying to explain it, but I wore these yesterday and I just put them back on here for you guys to see. Love them, they didn't hurt my ears or like leave any green because my ears were turn green when I don't wear gold or white gold or whatever. From my mom, I have this piercing right here. This is called your conch, conch, C-O-N-C-H. I have a gold hoop in there right now. Um, but I wanted to switch it out eventually, so I got this little opal in gold. It goes like in there. This little piece. I have no idea how to change it, so I'm gonna have to go ask my piercer to do it for me. Last but certainly not least is another brand that I want to tell you guys about. It's called Seal. All of their stuff comes in the little pouch like this. Um, Kathleen Light, so I just mentioned about the nail polish. She's a YouTuber, my favorite YouTuber of all time. Her sister, they're both from Miami and live in Miami. Her sister started Seal. Okay, so I started following them and they're based out of Miami and they make the cutest, cutest stuff. I got, she has a subscription bag actually that is super awesome. Um, and I had the three month variation of that for a while and I still have those pieces. They're super shiny and awesome and have lasted without breaking. So um, I put a couple of her pieces on my list as well. These are from them. This was from the Spanglish collection with um, Alamar Cosmetics and CO together. They did like a little collab. And for Christmas from my stepmom, she got me these little earrings from 
seal. Super cute. They're little like hoops with little triangles dangling off of them. So, 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 so cute. I hope you guys can see these good enough. I'm scared. Um, I wore these two already. <laughs> I just put them back in here so you can see. And yeah, that is everything that I got for Christmas. I'm so freaking grateful. I feel like I had an amazing Christmas. My favorite part of the holidays is being with the people I love. And I didn't get to see all of my family this year due to COVID, but I did get to, you know, spend time with my mom and my dad on Christmas, which although can be stressful, if you know, you know. Um, I'm so grateful that I got to, you know, spend time with everybody. And I was so excited to give my gifts. I wanted to show my gifts, but I don't know how to do that without showing what I got people. So that wasn't quite possible, but I thought I would do a Christmas haul. I mean, why not? I, oh, I'm even in front of my tree, switch up the background. I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to go in the comments and tell me what you got for Christmas, if you got any similar stuff, or tell me you got something crazy that you hated, or I don't know, let's talk about Christmas or whatever you got for the holiday that you celebrate. I would love to hear it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you click the notification bell, it'll notify you when I am gonna, or when I post. So yeah, everybody, I hope you had a very happy holidays. We are in 2021. Just because it's 2021 does not mean that everything's gonna magically change. You have to put them to work yourself. You have to be positive and you have to believe that it will be better. So I just really hope as a, not even just a society, as a human whole, I hope we can all do that with each other, together with more love this year. Goodbye. <laughs> so I'll see you in my next video. I think you guys will like it. I think you guys will like it. Okay, bye. I don't think this is gonna fit. Nope.